need some water, orange juice, or like Not every dog should be eating lamb. And the commercial dog food companies, I, I see you all the time. Yes, um, indeed. Jeff, you have this. And then, uh, because you're going to spoil them, them a lot. <laughs> <laughs> they got probably the most problems. People have walked away because dogs don't care if you measured it right or you forgot to measure it or you forgot the eggs. He's, he's a good he's office everywhere. office dog. Brad and Iron Chef and Naked Chef. Oh man, so proliferation. A lot of us were spending a lot of money maybe on this commercial dog food but our dogs weren't getting any better. And then um, at the same time, we were eating poorly. So I thought, geez, for 10,000 years, we have been feeding dogs what we eat as humans. Why did this change? Overwhelm it with vegetables. People kind of do because they think, I go, my dog has fleas. Not a great host. Uh, dogs that eat. So for those of you that have just one dog, this will last you for quite a while. Uh, from the first day that it ever walked in your door, and you just gave him wheat, chicken for uh, preserve and mix. First five ingredients for the cat food, pretty big. Everywhere we go, we're bombarded with, you got to do this, you got to do that. And maybe people think that that's what I'm doing, the same thing. It's decadent to see what I'm doing. But I think it's decadent to pay $40 for a bag of cereal versus if you can, if you're living by yourself with a dog, you buy one piece of chicken, you can share that, that with your dog with pasta or something. And so you're feeding your dog pretty much what you're eating. RV place, RVers have dogs and they don't have there you know just cut it up nobody cares <laughs> and so how many of you and the grant and the, uh, the parents don't have the time so for your dog to digest this or this mm -hmm. dry okay. it in with pasta or Lucy's having a great time with it she doesn't know what to do she's going to them when I do a lot of uh, speaking at dog clubs so you could put a little basil in there or th something but the best thing to do is just like made broth out of it yeah mm -hmm. that's exactly what we're making if you, if you just have one small one dog I have three dogs you know this doesn't for the dog, just demands that I have a name for them you know but you could call them you know and, and uh, you could pour dogs chained up in a backyard so he's been stressed out so when we before we brought him home I took the other dog. if I can get people to eat better themselves then they can share their food with their dog then they see a dramatic change in how much it costs <laughs> oh good boy Elves. <laughs> cool. well, I lost Jeff or Bill uh, if we can eat the food, you know, the animals can eat the food, well, then it must be really good for both of us. And then we work our way in. Transition, transitioning dogs so that when dogs eat commercial food, it blows up in their stomach. That's what 